think the homeless situation is a serious problem? Yes, I do. But it's not just it's not just for guys like me. It's for other people too, women, especially women who've got children. How do you begin a story? How do you explain? Without the shelter being here. Um, I don't know what would happen um, to those to those residents. It used to be just a few that were homeless, perhaps drug addicts or mentally ill, but now it has grown to over 200 people that line up every morning, and these are people who lost their jobs and their homes. My hope and my dream is to be able to find housing and have a home for families. This is another uh, case of uh, people thinking that they can take liberties and take advantage of the, the, the homeless. The streets, when you're out on the streets, and, and it's a lonely place to be, and uh, you're susceptible to, to, you know, all kinds of dangers out there. I love these kids. It, it just warms my heart to see that kids today are doing something like this for the homeless. It just warms your heart. It really does. A lot of people call us bums and everything, but these kids don't. And I have a lot of little friends here. That when I talk to people and I ask them what they want, a lot of people say, you know what I really want? I want a place where I can just lock the door in the morning and leave and know that my things will be safe. People come down here and they think that like they're bad people because they don't have homes. But once I started talking to them, they like seriously, they're like best friends to me now. Sometimes, but the people we we see every day, maybe sitting on a bench, and what we don't know what what they've been through and. Some of the things they've accomplished are, are incredible. In a nation of our wealth, our means, our social service expertise, I really do believe it's unconscionable that any U.S. citizen should have to sleep outside.